partial spoilers. Pen. And anyway, so I went to go see Lion King. Now, I went to go see it anyway, right? Of course. Um, I listened to the soundtrack, which drives me to really want to go see it. And I try my best not to let outside influence, you know, deter, not necessarily deter, but to influence my opinions. But at the same time, when it comes to going to see a movie, especially for me, I don't want to waste money, okay? (laughs) Especially when I have the luxury of a fire stick, you know, I just, you know, don't want to waste money on anything, right? And so, when I tell you, from the time, not even the time when Lion King even came out, which was last week, but, um, hold on, hold on one second, one second, one second. Uh, there we go. But even before, like, the premiere, people who have already seen, you know, The Lion King were commenting and, oh, it's not the best. I mean, people were already doing reviews on YouTube. So, you know, I try my best to not watch or anything. But then the whole Rotten Tomatoes came out and they was like, oh, it's like 53 percent. I'm like, woo. <laughs> but then I also had to remember, like. It doesn't necessarily, to me, I feel like it doesn't necessarily count because everybody else hadn't seen it yet. Like, that's based on the people who've seen it before the movie hasn't even came out. Oh, hey, Brie. (laughs) Um, So, I didn't think that that counts. So, I was like, okay, well, just give it at least a week. You know, give it a week, maybe two weeks, you know. And then give people time to see and then you know come out with you know ratings and all that then people were uh before lion king even came out people were counting it out already because beyonce was in it and people felt like oh y'all are hyping it up because beyonce is in it and i understand like i understand like people are excited like it's beyonce whatever but still i didn't let that you know influence my opinion because I didn't care that Beyonce is in I mean it's a plus but I personally did not care and I felt like if he if if somebody wants to go see Lion King because Beyonce is in it so what <laughs> like so as long as they're going to go see it so what that's like if if um I went to go see Gods of Egypt because Chadwick's in it. So what? <laughs> so like so what? So what? I mean, I literally said um was it or I've been saying and I still haven't watched it um draft day. Like I literally asked, "Hey, how much of Chadwick is in this movie because if he's in there for like 3 seconds, I'm not watching." <laughs> and people were like, well, "No, you should watch it. You know, it's a good movie." How much of Chadwick is in this movie because <laughs> if he i promise you i am not and i feel like he's there for like three seconds and that's it i'm not doing it so i i'm sorry that's the one movie that i refuse to watch so if somebody wants to go see lion king because beyonce's in it so what they're going to go see the movie which is money towards you know their pockets so whatever and no lie, a lot of the memes were funny. I mean, people were taking <laughs> he there for like five seconds. Exactly, I'm not watching draft day at all. No, it's not happening. But you know, I did enjoy the memes. Memes are funny, all of that. But overall, like I said, the fact that the cast alone, you had. Alfre Woodard, you had, uh, you be careful, Duolingo, shut up, god dang, <laughs> it's like as soon as 10 o'clock hit and I have not practiced my uh, Portuguese, then, you know, Duolingo's like, girl, you better hurry up, I'm like, chill, I'm practice, calm down, but anyway, um, 
You have the dude from 12 Years a Slave. You have uh, Childish Gambino. Uh, the dude, which I didn't realize it was him. You know, the one that was like, let me in. Let me in. <laughs> him, he's in it. Uh, Key, uh, Key and, uh, Michael Key, he's in it. Um, oh, shoot. What's the other? Um, Child T'Chaka, he's in, in the goddamn movie. <laughs> child the chaga died <laughs> as a black panther he died and was reborn as a baboon like and nobody's talking about it <laughs> nobody's talking about it so he's in it ao's in it uh who else who else is in it child they went and that child they went and said we're going to go ahead and get this movie out of the way because James Earl, James Earl Jones is still alive. And we and he's, what, in his 80s? Girl, <laughs> and folks dying left and right. Let's hurry up and do this movie. Um, the girl from um, Us, she's in the little girl. She's playing the young uh, young Nala. Um, I don't know what the little boy's name, but he's in it. John Oliver. I mean, it's just... <laughs> like, it's so many heavy hitters in this film and it's just automatic um so like i said you know i try my best not to let but at the same time in a way i kind of did because again a lot of people like oh the movie is trash it's horrible and all of this and i'm like okay i don't know like so then i was like okay let me go let me go see it So I go in, I sit down, and when I tell y'all, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I I absolutely enjoyed it. Now, was it as magical as the original, as the original Lion King? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Okay. But. I enjoyed it okay now I can't see where um, a lot of people did have a dislike because the acting everyone's acting okay everyone's acting was a bit ahead uh, it had a little bit of uh, what's the word I'm looking for it's not necessarily they're trying too hard, but it's like they weren't trying hard enough, if that makes sense. Like, it was a little bit of corny, just a little bit. Um, but I also had to remember that, and I feel like a lot of people had no facial expression. And, and that's the thing. This literally, this literally was National Geographic. <laughs> But, hold on, hold on, let me back up. This movie was no different from The Jungle Book. Because in The Jungle Book, they too used CGI and all that. And we have to remember that these are animals. What lion you know is going to give you a facial expression? (laughs) Like, the only weird part about it was as their faces, like, as they were talking, it was like... It was just weird, like like it was a puppet almost. And at one point, I think I can't remember who it was, but it's like their mouth they were talking, but their mouth was not moving at all. <laughs> and I was like, uh <laughs> So this is literally no different from the jungle book, because the jungle book is the same way. And I feel like that's where a lot of people got the upset because they were expecting them to be more animated and i'm like y'all gotta remember these are animals <laughs> these are animals the only let me tell you something the only animal that i expect a facial expression from is the hyenas because hyenas they smile okay realistically they smile and i feel like they gave that i feel like they gave that so as far as the animation is concerned i feel like they tried to get it as realistic to the animals as possible okay only weird part was just their mouths <laughs> that was the weird part about it but other than that i had no issues with that 
Um, who did I think? Who did I like from here? Um, like I said, the acting is concerned. Um, we're not gonna jump on James Earl Jones because again, he 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 old and <laughs> he old. The only I feel like the um, no, we're gonna get to that later. Yeah, so we're gonna leave him alone. I feel like Alfre Waters, she did her thing. Um, let's see, Childish Gambino. Like, like I said, there was a lot of corn, corny <laughs> parts in there. There were a lot of corny parts from uh, Scar. There were a lot of corny parts from. Um, I feel like Zazu. He he was like, I feel like Rafiki didn't have enough to say. <laughs> He should have had a whole lot more to say. Um, what else? Yo. <laughs> so there's the part. <laughs> Why is no one talking about this? Like, T'Chaka literally died and came back as a baboon. Because he legit said. <laughs> it was a part where uh, Raf- Rafiki asked Simba, okay, so who are you? <laughs> Simba said, I am Simba. <laughs> Son of Mufasa. I was like, no, y'all didn't. Those are... I am T'Challa. <laughs> Son of T'Chaka. <laughs> I am the Black Panther and King of Wakanda. Like, come on. <laughs> he said it right there. Like, nobody caught that. <sighs> okay, a little Black Panther reference. I had to throw it in there. But anyway. Um as far as um let's see. Um, the the kids, um, they're acting like I said. There was a little bit of corn parts in there, a little corny in there. Messed up Simba's reaction to a fossil's death. Yeah, that was uh. <laughs> yo, yo, the scene. <laughs> and I feel like I was the only one in the theater laughing. Like I should be laughing at this when the scene when Scar. Uh, manipulated Simba into saying that he was the one that killed Mufasa when they're all on Pride Rock. <laughs> he was like, "So who killed Mufasa?" And then <laughs> it was Black Panther. To be honest, <laughs> girl, child, Black Panther was better. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I still love Lion King, but you know this. You know, anyway, Simba legit said, "Is <laughs> like how he said it." He said. I killed Mufasa. Sorry. <laughs> I said. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> that is way. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You're like, dang, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill him. <laughs> if you ever remember that episode of Martin when that little boy was pretending to be Martin's son, <laughs> he's like, I'm sorry, Martin. I just didn't want to go to Arizona. <laughs> That's how he sounded. I was like, what? He said, I killed Mufasa. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, dang, okay. Um, but yeah, that there's a lot of corny parts. I feel like for me, Timon and Pumbaa has to be they have to be my favorite. Like, I feel like they did a great job with them. Only thing that um I didn't really like them singing in Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Um, I did like the beginning part, but the ending, I hated that part. Um, but yeah, I loved Timon and Pumbaa's characters, how they portrayed them. Yo, how old were you when you realized that in the cartoon version that Pumbaa was going to say <laughs> that he farted? <laughs> how how old were you? Because I was 23 when I found out. <laughs> I never, I never knew. Cause he was like, you know, don't say it in front of the kids. I'm like, say what? <laughs> I never knew what he was gonna say. But then when you think about it, it's like, oh, okay. And then the fact that they used like a a young warhog, like when he was a little baby, that was too cute. <laughs> and then uh, Timon and Pumbaa sing. Cause Seth Rogen played Pumbaa. Um, I feel like Seth Rogen is not um, the best singer. He's not, so I feel like he did the best he could. So we'll give him A for effort for that. Um, who else? Who else? Who else am I missing? Um, Zazu, Zazu, Zazu. We already said him. 
um, the hyenas were cool. Um, so as far as Beyonce, I mean, what do y'all expect? <laughs> like, what was y'all? What was like she? Nala's character. I really did. I enjoyed her character. I enjoyed the scene where um, Charles. Did, did anybody realize Scar is Trump? How you mess up an anime movie with your voice? <coughs> easy. It's very easy. It's very, very easy. It's the same way with a non-animated movie. It's very easy to mess it up. But um, <coughs> when um, the scene where Nala sneaks away, I actually enjoyed that. Like that was, <laughs> I really liked that one. I liked it. I liked how the suspense of it because they didn't have that in the other part. Not the other part. In the other, they didn't have that. So the fact that they added it in and. Um, you know, Nala's like, look, we can't just sit here and do nothing. You know, I like that. So, again, if they had somebody else play Nala in this same format, I, I actually liked her character. Um, but no lie. <laughs> no lie. At one point. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> When she said, are you with me? I said, okay, ladies, now let's get it for me. Look, come on. Because <laughs> I feel like it is perfect. It's kind of perfect because that's like one of my favorite scenes from Lion King was the fight scene. Because, again, th those lioness, they were sitting chill when Simba said, I was the one that killed Mufasa. But then when Scar did it, <laughs> girl, that was in formation. <laughs> <laughs> they say, uh, 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 we got it, let's do this. I mean, they was in there, ready to go, okay? But, um, um, I did notice that, um, there are a lot of scenes that, uh, like I said, like I mentioned with Nala sneaking away, there were, um, a lot of scenes that they added to it. And then knowing when you've seen Lion King plenty of times, you know the script. And so you could just tell where, what script, like what lines they put in and then what lines. So we're just going to go ahead and get into that. So let's talk about the ones that I side-eyed, okay? So the scene when um, Mufasa saved Simba the first time, okay? And he's like, look. I need to teach my son a lesson. Okay, so in the movie, Mufasa's like, you know, why would you do this? And you not only put yourself in danger, you put Nala in danger, and you could have been killed, right? Okay, so in this one, you had Mufasa talking about some. You put yourself in danger. You put Nala in danger. And then you de uh, jeopardize with the bloodline or whatever. I said, uh. <laughs> I'm like, um. Uh, like, ladies, we are so. <laughs> she really was. <laughs> but it's perfect. It worked. Girl, listen, if Coachella happened, Co listen, I promise you they had Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> After this movie went off, they had Coachella. I promise you. <clears throat> but um, I was like, uh, what? Why would the bloodline? And I just felt like that was so out of the character, you know. <laughs> it was just so out of the character. And then the uh, scene. When Mufasa's ghost show up, <sighs> that whole scene, I was uh, I was disappointed because, again, like you wanna, you wanna, some things, yeah, change it. Other things need to be left alone. First of all, you know, first of all, when um, Mufasa's ghost show up. Okay, I feel like it almost felt like 
they had a too long of a conversation <laughs> like had extra on the conversation but then i'm like there was no need for that long of a conversation like the simple like i know that scene so well mufasa shows up okay you know simba you have forgotten me no i haven't forgotten you you have forgotten who you are so you have forgotten me look inside yourself you are more than what you become come on now (laughs) you are more than that you must take your place on circle of life i can't go back i'm not who i used to be simba remember who you are you are the one true king and you you are the one you are my son and you are the one true king remember remember like come on simple they should have kept it at that no <laughs> they sitting there having a whole blown conversation i'm like what is i'm sorry <laughs> the way they made simba look like because in the cartoon yes yeah, simba lost his way but simba ain't forget that he is still a lion he ain't forget that but the way they portrayed him in this one like there's a whole scene where there's a, a, a antelope <laughs> there's a an, i don't know what that was a wildebeest i don't know but he legit jumps at it and he's like oh i'm chasing a butterfly and i'm like ah! <laughs> so in other words Simba forget literally forgot he was a lion. Not only did he try to forget that he's actually a king, but dude forgot he was a whole lion. <laughs> like, and he probably smoking butterflies right now. I was like, bro, this, this no. <laughs> he forgot he was a lion. And some uh, Timon and Pumbaa legit had to explain to him, uh, you, you're still a carnivore. Like you can't just jump at it like that. He's like, oh, oh, okay. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, okay. <sighs> um. So yeah. Um. <laughs> uh. Let's see what else. Okay. So there's that. Let's talk about the songs. So <clears throat> the songs. Again, I hated Circle of Life. <laughs> I hated it with a passion. Like, why would you change that? N- nobody should have touched it. Nobody should have touched it. That should have been left completely alone. Like, change everything else. But leave that completely alone. Okay? Because, uh, <laughs> we need to watch Black Panther. No. What I'm going to do is watch the ori- original Lion King because I feel like I need to go go back and watch it, watch the cartoon version, you know, for my you know comfort. But um, uh, what else? Let's see. There's that. I enjoyed. Um, uh, just can't wait to be king. I enjoyed it. Like I always enjoyed that. Uh, what else am I missing? Be prepared. Okay, so be prepared is my favorite all time, all time favorite song of a villain. Like, I feel like villains have the best songs anyway, but that's like top number one favorite song. So I definitely love that song. However, child, <laughs> the way they, the way they had um, dude from Twelve Years a Slave, the way they had him uh sing it as if he was at a poetry bar and he had a spoken word and he was just really deep in his feelings <laughs> like like that's what it what it sounded like and i hated it like no um it wasn't towards the end of the song where he actually kind of started singing it but then after that the song ended and i'm like <sighs> i guess disney knew that if they played that song i would be in there singing it i don't know but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um uh I like the the new version of um The Lion Sleeps Tonight. I like that one. Um Let's see. Can you feel the love tonight? Eh, it's like um Hakuna Matata. <laughs> oh, it's like 
anyways, it was it was alright. It wasn't that bad. Um, what others? They oh they should not have done that. The scene when Simba decided to go back, they decided to play Beyonce song. No, they should have uh, stuck to woo stop at me, woo stop. <laughs> they should have stuck to that. Like oh my god, they should have stuck to that. I really think they should have stuck to that. That was and hold up, child. Did y'all see? With with Simba when he was a little baby and he was um he had just left after uh, Mufasa died like he's walking on sand dunes is it me or did that look like um if anybody's seen Prince of Egypt when he was walking on sand dunes <laughs> and he kind of like fell over and then a sandstorm happened was I the only one waiting for a sandstorm to happen and you know wisp <laughs> Simba away was I the only one it's just me oh, okay um I'm trying to think is there any other song. That I'm missing. Um, again, um, I feel like with Rafiki, uh, as far as like the original scores, like all that, that was I. I feel like they did a good job with that. But Rafiki, I feel like they didn't give him enough to. Uh, and I understand. There's a scene. Yeah, it was just me. Oh, okay, <laughs> it looked like they he was gonna fall down. On the sand dude. But anyway, um when I'm I'm thinking about now where they showed Simba's hair flying through and <laughs> and giraffes eating and bugs finding in the poop and I'm like, Oh, poop hair? Okay. But it's the circle of life, so I you know, can somewhat appreciate that. And then <laughs> the fact that it's poop hair and Rafiga just sitting there looking at it. <laughs> examining it and I'm like uh it's poop bear but okay uh <laughs> um I wonder if that giraffe knew like if that giraffe would have known that he had king hair in his body but anyway uh but yeah I feel like they should have gave Rafiki more to do like more lines because he had lines in the film you know and then some you know people were upset because you know Rafiki wasn't um in his martial arts move i'm like i mean yeah <laughs> but come on now, i feel like he did this thing like that <laughs> when he pulled out his uh staff and they put like some kind of royal music to it <laughs> like oh he about to both <laughs> i mean i'm like why y'all put this dramatic music with rafiki's staff <laughs> but it was perfect so i'm trying to think what else is there am i missing uh um let's see i feel like i covered a lot uh, again i just feel like people i feel like people just were and i think it's like that with a lot of live action cartoons where people want it to be the way it is and and i get it believe me after watching the last airbender the live action believe me i get it (laughs) i understand but certain things like especially when they're dealing with animals certain things is like okay (laughs) of course this is gonna look like planet earth okay like this whole movie legit looked like i was watching planet earth and doing commentary on it <laughs> and giving y'all giving y'all reactions and all like that's literally what this whole movie was <laughs> just watching blue planet animal planet you know the big cats edition and i'm giving y'all a live commentary like that's literally what it was <laughs> you know but overall i and i will give this movie a smooth b plus i give it a high b not an a like a high b you know it wasn't bad you know the way people are dogging it out and i feel like uh, another reason a lot of people are um upset with this movie is because a lot of other people are upset with this movie like just to jump on a bandwagon but yeah so i recommend i would recommend this like if you want, go watch it in theaters, but, you know, still just, 
you know, go on your own merit. Um, yeah, so I'm in this live. And then restart a new live after I go to the bathroom. Yeah, and then I'll be back. Oh, wow.